<laughs> if an unvax and vax have sex, what happens to the unvaxed? So I have so all sorts of interesting people that contacting me. And so one was a 32 years old and unvaxed, and he'd got a vaxed girlfriend. Mm. And after he had intimacy with her, he got chest pains and mental fog and a very sore throat and terrible fatigue. And he contacted me because he, he realized that he'd never had any of this before. And it was directly after being exposed physically, body fluids, whatever, to this vaxxed lady. And this is vaccine shedding. So obviously, those people that got vaxxed now have this, these genes in their body to keep making spike proteins. And some people are very, very tough and don't seem to notice it until they sometimes just unexpectedly stop breathing. But, 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 many are, but, but there are some people who are really sensitive to it. And this guy obviously was. That he was exposed to spike proteins from this girl. He wasn't making the spike proteins. He just got some into his system and it made him really sick. So I gave him some advice. I said, okay, well, the best things we know for getting rid of those spike proteins are natokinase, made from fermented soya beans, breaks up those spikes, brilliant natural remedy from Japan. Um, bromelain, which comes from the stem of a pineapple, breaks up those spike proteins. Curcumin, which is also a brilliant natural anti-inflammatory that is a proven benefit in counteracting the inflammation caused by those spike proteins. And ivermectin, which literally binds those spike proteins and stops them causing the, the clots. <laughs>